In Minimash, children save their work into trays. Trays. Within the trays, you'll see a tray for each pupil. You can change the colour of the tray and the image on the tray by clicking on the edit pen. As a teacher, you can see all the trays for the children in your class. If you are linked to multiple classes, you can click on the purple button here for Robins and change the class that is displayed. To the top right here, you've got your pins. I've currently got Getting Started. If I click on the Minimash logo and scroll down to Edit Pins, I can edit what goes there. I can add up to five things from this menu on the left. We'll add colours, dinosaurs and fairy tales. If I star one, that one will move to the top. I can click on dinosaurs to get further information and printables. When I click on OK, you'll now see dinosaurs appears to the top right. If I click on the pin, my other pins will show. And if I click on the dinosaur, I'll get dinosaur related activities and tasks. Pins are a great way of directing children to the work you want them to do. You can create your own tasks or save tasks that we've created and pop them in a tray. These can then be pinnable by pinning the tray. We'll start by going into trays. trays. At the top to the right, you've got an add a tray button. When you add a tray as the teacher, all the children in that class will see the tray. We'll call this spring. You can then choose the image and color that goes on the tray and click OK. Now that tray has been created, you can save work into it. Let's say we're going to do a pictogram. Numbers and counting. I've chosen eye colours. I'm going to go to the top left and save that into my tray. We'll pop that into spring and we'll call it eye colours. I'm going to pop a couple of other things into my tray. We'll start with the to create a story. With this story, I'm going to put the backgrounds in for them. I'm going to go up to here to the menu and click on save. I'll also pop that into the spring tray and save. Lastly, I'm going to put this penguin in my tray. I'm going to go up to here and click on save and pop it into spring. Now I want to be able to pin some of that work. So I'm going to go into trays. trays. I'm going to select my spring tray and choose the work I want to pin. There's my penguin. We'll pin that. At the top to the right, you'll see the pin button. We'll pin that one as well. And we'll also pin the pictogram. Now that we have put pinnable work in the tray, we can click on the logo and go down to edit pins. At the top here, I can select trays and then click on plus next to spring. If I click on the star, this will move it to the top. Now what you'll see is my spring tray is a pin at the top here. And when I click on the flower, the activities that I've made pinnable are accessible from within the tray. If I click on the penguin, for example, I can then draw my penguin. Now that I've done the drawing, I can go up to here to the left of the menu and click on save. The child can now click their tray and pop their work into their tray. What we should now find if I access the trays is that child's work, their penguin, in their tray. Here's the penguin and I can use the pen underneath to add a comment if I wish. From the pins now, I'm going to go to Three Little Ducks. This will open up my story with the background already in. I can edit this document in the same way. Let's put my ducks on there. And then up to the menu and save. We should now see that work in Ashley's tray. Trays. So you save things into the tray, make them pinnable, add the tray to the pins, and then the children can access them, complete them, and save them into their own trays. If I open the spring tray again, I can unpin work that I've finished with and pin new work that I add in. Now that I come out of it, if I go to the pins here, I've only got the one piece of work in the folder. If I click on the Minimash logo, I've got the option to choose Teacher Tools. There are lots of options in here for making my own resources from scratch. I'd simply make them, save them into my tray, and then make them pinnable.